has been called the beauty of magic and the foremost female magician of our time. No, it's not Doug Henning. Ladies and gentlemen, the award winner for best cabaret magic, Connie Boyd. Let's meet a lady who is an expert at her craft, Connie Boyd. Do you want to be entertained? Do you love the feeling of wonder and awe? Our magical women will certainly surprise and fascinate you with their incredible fun, magic, and stories. We are celebrating our two-year anniversary this month. One day, I saw a magician on TV, and on that day, my heart jumped off joy. I fell in love with his magic, of course. He took his assistant, and he changed the color of her dress, and from that moment, I knew I wanted to be a magician. Did you realize we have over 250 magical women uploads, 2,000 subscribers, and over a quarter of a million views? Plus, conversations with magic superstars and legends. Hi, I'm David Copperfield. Join me for a conversation with some magical women. It's an honor for me to be here among uh, such an amazingly talented group of individuals. I was always amazed that the amount of female magicians wasn't like it is becoming today. Ladies and gentlemen, Diana the Enchantress. <laughs> When I studied magic when I was eight years old, um, for me, magic was my escape from poverty. Um, nobody ever told me at that time that girls didn't do magic. I didn't know that. You set a, a precedence for women coming forward in the future. So. It was really great. And, um, you know, and, and I became the number one lady magician of all. The number of girls who are into magic now is extraordinary, which means just statistically, we're going to see in five years the biggest magic star uh, in the country. Uh, it's very likely to be a woman, and I am thrilled about that. We are the only source anywhere to highlight women in magic. These fabulous females are skilled and inspirational. It's fun for everyone to enjoy their astonishing work and to learn from their life stories. Joining from Australia is Helen Coglin. So this is Helen's first Hello, virtual performance. Hotel. I've never had to escape from anything like this before. Gee, thanks, Dad. <laughs> now let's do it. <laughs> she always taunts them in a very clever way. But it seems effortless. Pen and teller. I hope this escape has you both scratching your heads. Hang on, I don't need a trapdoor. I think I've got this now. Pin, teller, you'll see the cage is still completely locked. Oh, fabulous. Hello, Helen. <laughs> Hello, Pen. Hello, teller. Did you go out the back, Helen? Start lowering that trophy, boys. Yes! Oh, I did not go out the back. <laughs> she did it. Oh, fabulous. Hi, my name is Matt Roya, and for all of my white friends, that's Leroy with an A. <laughs> I am here representing African Americans and females in the magical arts. You don't have to be a magician to learn from these creative performers, as they will inspire everyone to go beyond their dreams and to achieve the impossible. I'm always open to other things. So like, let's say if I'm trying to like find a method, I'm always open to like looking into other things. There's one trick I did. The part of the method was like a pop-up box. And that was literally like sometime like one time I got like an invitation and like it was flat. And then when you did it, it popped up into a box. All I did is searched up on YouTube pop-up box and I used that for an effect. Leah Kyle has revolutionized the way quick change magic is performed, combining Hocuter fashion with visual magic. Thank you. <laughs> I bought books to learn the technique of quick change, and uh, as I worked, I create my arm techniques. And I want to create different acts to do my own acts. I was very interested about uh, manipulation acts. I said to myself, I want to do this, but in the quick change act. You just uh, told the viewers that you will be creating new magic and developing new magic for your FISM 
Competition Act. Now, for the viewers that don't know, FISM is the equivalent of Magic Olympics. Watch our talks and also enjoy our vintage video and motivational message playlist with the brightest, the biggest magic stars, past and present. It's my great pleasure to introduce and welcome the terrifyingly talented Carissa Hendricks. Thank you. That's so sweet. I love terrifying. Yeah, I have like mixed feelings about that word. It's like, is it because of all the sideshow stuff in my history? Why? <laughs> now we've mentioned Lucy Darling. I was really in love with the cover of Jeannie that Carrie and I collaborated on. Lucy lounging around drinking champagne. Oh, how are you? Oh, I'm doing fabulous. How are you, Lucy? Most of darling, I'm always fabulous. I have the last little bit of a, of a sidecar, the last tiny dregs, which means I am this happy. Juliana Chen. Thank you, Connie. You do the lots of very good things you're doing now for the magic world. Yeah. One day I just got my lucky day. So I see the 1972 Fizen. I see the old top magicians. I see Mr. Shimada. So I said, well, I want to be a magician. At the World Championship of Magic in Germany, for the first time in history, a woman was crowned as the world champion of magical manipulation. Juliana Chen. Please welcome the mesmerizing Josephine Lee. Well, first, it's a pleasure to be here, so thank you. How you became involved in magic? I ended up working for Hans Kluck, and they had one space free for a... Um, an assistant. I was 18 and I'm now 33. So <laughs> that was a while ago. But even now, years on, we're still in touch and we're still still having fun with magic together. Fabulous. So she came over again from London to, to Amsterdam and I showed her how to do it. And then she came up with that whole act which she did on, on British Scott Talent and the rest is history. As you may have read, the magic circle is an exclusively male bastion. So light the blue touch paper and retire, because here's Faye Presto. Well, do you have a fiver I can borrow? Best question to start with, isn't it? Close-up magic happens here, you see. What we do is we take um, something like a, a purple silk handkerchief. Yeah. Well, I don't, yeah, I mean, um, but they, the camera can get no closer than you can, you see. Yeah, and let's try but and... I'm easily fooled. Oh. Uh, would you like to just blow on there? Certainly. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> beautifully done. Look, let's try this, you see. I um, didn't see a thing. You didn't see it go. N and Teller Foolis, Andrew Golder, and Pete Golden have executive produced the shows from the start in the UK. Lincoln Hyatt joined the show in the US. Pre-Penn and Teller, we were merely fans of magic. And then I uh, worked with Penn on a game show for NBC called Identity. That began our working and friendship relationship. And a couple years later, out of that, uh, came fool us. Andrew doesn't know this, but I actually had a background in magic before we started really? doing this together. I had a little plastic box <laughs> that could make a dime vanish or could make a nickel turn into a quarter. And I was absolutely fascinated with it. And I, and I demonstrated my trick all the time. And I thought that if I just tried hard enough, I could read people's minds. <laughs> Did you have a favorite Magical Women episode? Let us know what you or who you'd like to see more of. It's you, our viewers, who drive the content on our channel. And it's thanks to you, we are succeeding. Welcome to Magical Women's new series, The Winner's Circle. You competed at the German Championships and you were the first female to win. Yes. So yeah, I, it's true. I was the first uh, woman to win the German Championships of Magic in like it's a 100 year old story. I think it gave motivation to a lot of younger girls. Yeah, it just also gave me, uh, gave me a lot of confidence to keep on going because creating your own magic is kind of a roller coaster, you know? It can be very frustrating, it can be fun, it can be difficult. But in the end, I'm so glad that it paid off. 
so that was really, yeah, it was a game changer for me. The BBC called Lisa Mena the most influential female magician of the 20th century. She created Cause to Wonder, a nonprofit charity who travels to places like Ethiopia, India, and New Guinea to use magic and music to inspire change. I do theater for social change and uh, that evoke curiosity to get people think. So basically I replace place abracadabra with, if you want to have good luck, don't hurt women. The Manda Wilderness Trust in Mozambique to spread the word that they shouldn't use their lake as a disposal. So my magic show was to go to the villages and introduce the phrase, a clean lake is a happy life. I did a, a show, but I had a load of bowl and it kept emptying water and I kept saying, wow, endless clean water. And I go over and I give it to a, a woman who has a baby and she holds it for a minute. And when she gives it back to me, there's a big poop. <laughs> oh, the baby pooped in the water. And then I go around the room, right? And I start taking a little piece of poop out behind people's body parts. And I say, well, if one per poops and poops in the water, everybody gets pooped on. So the audience is like, Wah! but it, it, it all along, they've been singing to make the magic trick happen. If you want to have a happy life, and they sing back, have a clean lake. <laughs> Alexandra Duvivier is a second generation magician. Her Alexandra charmed Penn and Teller with her puzzling close up card performance. Merci, merci beaucoup. I am so glad to be part of this uh, gathering of women. You were the first French woman to win a Penn and Teller Foolis Award. I have to say that it was a a tremendous experience. It was a lot of stress, a lot of pressure, but uh, in the end, it was marvelous. Wow. I am so thrilled to be here among all of you tonight, and especially because I have here two of my heroes just right in front of me. How do you say you fooled us in French? <laughs> We are also celebrating two years with Banish International Magic Magazine. So if you prefer to read your content instead of watching it, subscribe to the magazine and discover more about our spectacular magical women in our in-depth articles and cover girl features. And it's a story about how Anna Rose had found your skirt and, and the skirt is how she met you. And look, there you are with Anna Rose at David Copperfield's show. Oh, how fantastic. Isn't it? Oh, bless your heart, yeah. yeah I Lecturing at FISM, the World Championships of Magic, will be our crowning achievement to date. The topic, how women influence magic, is current and exciting. I know everyone will be very surprised at the new content we have discovered. The future is bright for magical women and we wanted to share our milestones with you. Hi, I'm Dania Diaz and I want to thank you for following Magical Women, a place where we can share our experiences but also a place to keep the magic alive. See you very soon. Please don't forget to subscribe to the Magical Women channel and to share our channel with your friends, your groups, and your colleagues. We are changing the way the world sees magic. Join us on this journey. Our magical future awaits. Ciao for now.